I love my truck. I absolutely love my truck, but there's been something that's been absolutely driving me crazy lately, and that's the clutch safety switch. I have to push the clutch all the way to the floor, then crush the carpet, then push a little bit harder in order to get the starter to engage, and I checked, it's not adjustable, this clutch safety switch. So, you have to either replace it or shim it. And I know it's very consistent where it engages, so I decided to make a shim for it. Gavin Gear here for makingwithmetal.com. In this video, we're gonna do a quick project on my Logan Model 1922 11x36 metal lathe. We're gonna use some Delrin plastic. So maybe this should be called making with plastic for this particular video, I'm not sure. In any case, Delrin plastic is something that anyone that owns a metal lathe should have on hand in various diameter. It's super quick to machine. It's not gonna dull your tools. It's insulated if you're making anything like electrical standoffs or anything of that nature. Any kind of tools that you need to make that are gonna be non-marring, non-scratching to anything that they come into contact with, that kind of thing. So, we're gonna quickly make this clutch safety switch shim and then we'll pop it in and see how it works. Let's get to it. Okay, let's start by chucking up our Delrin. I'm just gonna use the three jaw chuck here because we don't need a whole lot of precision and it's really quick to work with. Okay. And we're gonna drill, pre-drill with a smaller diameter drill so that our larger drill has good clearance. And I'm just gonna drill, I don't know, maybe like about an inch or so. You can see how quickly this machines. It's pretty amazing, really. Okay. Probably gone a little bit too far. That's all right. Chuck up our 5 8 inch drill bit. It's kind of what I calculated I needed for the clutch rod clearance. Real nice chips coming out there. Okay. You can see how quick this is. Pretty nice, huh? Nice and even. That's a good bit there. Okay. So now we've got our, our ID all machined. Now we need to turn the OD. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to turn a little bit of a shoulder so that it will be held concentric in the recess. And again, this doesn't need to be super precise either. I'm just going to kind of give a quick uh, guesstimate. Okay, and we'll just turn that in probably about that far. And then we need to part. I calculated to about an eighth of an inch. So I've got my digital calipers set to an eighth. I'm just going to make a, a score line here. And then we're going to take the parting tool and go ahead and part it off. Okay, so that, that basically is the part. I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to cut off this edge here from, from the parting tool, and then I'm going to put a little slot in it so I can pop it around the clutch rod, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so now's the moment of truth. Let's see how we did. Success! Isn't it great to have a metal lathe and isn't it great to be able to make your own parts? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on the link below for the full story and I hope you all will subscribe to GavinTube as well so you don't miss any of these stories. Until next time, happy metalworking and happy plastic working.